2024 has begun and the updates do not stop coming. Today we delve back to the game with the new boss drops, farms, a 1 million like code and much more. Let's start this year with a banger. 2024 is here and this is my first video of the year as well. So thank you of course again for tuning in to my videos even in the new year. And hopefully you'll be there for the rest of the year as well. If you do, of course subscribe, like the video and let's just get started. So of course today is the new update with the guard that has been added to the game. Got some new limited pets, new lucky blocks, new pet of the refresh, and some bug fixes. And as well, we got a brand new million code. So let's just dive into this and give you guys all the information you need for this update. So we're going from top to bottom. We're going to start with the garden update. So what you have to do, you just got to go to the first area. And boom, if you're through school, you actually don't go into the gym anymore. You go outside. You go into the garden. There we go. We can see we're actually now from the garden. And we're going to fly to space gym, which uh, makes more sense. Because, you know, going outside the school and then heading into a space gym suddenly it's a little bit strange but now we have ourselves over here the new garden area so this looks pretty awesome but of course what are we doing in here it's kind of simple we're just well getting new stuff coming soon which is kind of nice but we have new areas to plant seeds and you can see that we can plant six seeds there's no like robux thing to buy for this but you can get seeds by defeating bosses so as you can see right here there is two types of seeds i have confirmed this with the admins so it's right now only two kinds we have banana seeds which are common and we have apple seeds which are common but you can see i actually got like seven banana seeds and i only got one apple seed so probably apple seeds are a little bit rarer than the banana seeds but there we have that as well i confirm with the admins the old pet snacks are gone they are forever out of the game at least for now um so i don't know how you're gonna level your pets right now probably it's with the new snacks but of course if you didn't level your pets before and didn't use your stuff it, that's kind of gone to be honest oh there's actually one question i maybe have what about christmas event area because this christmas event area is still here i thought it would be gone but with the candy coins, oh no, they removed Santa. No, wait, did they? Yeah, they removed. Oh, they removed the limited shop. Oh, so you can still spend your Christmas coins on the gingerbread egg. But the Santa sleigh, which was over here, which could buy, of course, the pets from and as well some snacks, is gone. Wait, but we can still get snacks from here. Okay, I'm not a fan of this content, but you know, we yeah, there we go. We got some mushrooms. Are we actually getting these? Because technically, they're removed from the game. Are we still getting them? Okay, so let's take a look at that right now. So, yeah, they, we don't get them. Okay, that's very interesting to know. So, literally, I was like, maybe we can buy some, you know, new pet snacks or stuff from the Christmas store. But no, Christmas store is gone. And even the old drops you could get from here, you don't get them anymore. So, they're literally out of the game. Alright, so that's good to know. But we're going to go into the garden. And I turned my sound on as well. So, now we have some nice birds chirping outside. But we're able to plant some seeds. And we have enough. So, there is some insane seeds as well. Which you can get, I think, later on. And those are some really insane buffs. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to plant all these seeds. So we're planting one apple seed and five banana seeds. So now they just have to grow. I don't know how long this takes. There is no watering can or whatever to speed this up. This is coming soon. So I'm just planting my seeds and we're just going to have to wait what happens. So uh, I'm as well going to put a timer. And we're going to time, of course, how long this is going to take. So I would estimate around 10, 15. 15, 30 minutes, maybe an hour for these to grow, but I've put my timer and I'm just going to check in occasionally and see what happens. Alright, so of course it's important to know where do we actually get these seeds. Like I said, you get them from defeating bosses. So it's literally super easy. Just go ahead and auto fight any boss in the game and you can, you can see we dropped banana seeds. And there's two kinds of seeds. That's what the admin said to me. Uh, like I said, the apple and the banana. We're probably going to get more seeds in the future, but we're just going to start off with these right now. Probably when we get the crafting system, that's together with the farm, we probably get new versions as well. So up next on the list is, of course, the new limited pet. So if you open up the store, we can see that there is right now four new limiteds. We got ourselves the Spark Kitten, the Clock Chick, the Midnight Dragon, and the Frostbite Phoenix. Uh, these are okay 55 million stat nothing too crazy of course if you get these in their highest form if you spend a butt ton of robux yes it's going to be the best pet in the game do we care about this thing technically not really um i'm not going to give one away today i kind of want to mainly focus on the new stuff because you know 
These are cool, but that's not the aids. There's nothing crazy about these, so I'm just gonna leave these for now. But what is very exciting, of course, are the new lucky blocks. And this is a brand new system, because of course we had ourselves the random lucky blocks that were spawning, right? Like, you had to use some strength, you know, you had to do some things to break them, and you got some money. Kind of boring, right? Kind of boring. So they actually did put these on bosses instead. So this, again, is in the new inventory. I didn't see it. It showed off, but here we have two lucky blocks. Of course, there's higher ones as well probably i do not know the update just came out but i grinded a little bit and i got two so far so we got the moderately lucky block and we got the generously lucky block i do not know at this moment i did ask the admins oh actually i just got a response there is no way to increase your seat luck or your lucky block luck it's confirmed. We cannot do any enchants, anything like that, that are going to help with that. But there will be fruits in the future that will increase that. So that is awesome to know. This is literally directly from the admins that next week we should get some fruits that increase the chances for these things, which is beautiful. And so before I forget, so the pet inventory refresh is literally just that they added the inventory of the items. So there's nothing else really besides, of course, the one we had before, which we already know, which makes just the pet UI a lot nicer. So coming back to the lucky blocks, we're gonna go ahead and check these out because, you know, we have two of them right now. I will do a little bit more grinding while we wait for our fruit to grow. But let's go ahead and open up the moderately lucky block first. So, boom, this is how it looks like. It's going to open in front of you. And, wait, I actually didn't even see it. It went so fast. We got season pass XP, I think, and we got some wins. Luckily, I have another lucky block. So, let's just go ahead. I as well want to make a screenshot of this because, you know, I didn't even think I had screenshots of anything. So, we're going to go ahead and open up this lucky block. But this is the generous one. It's a rare one. So, now it's going to open up in front of me. And, yeah, it gave me some wins two times because it gave me a double roll and it gave me season pass xp i do not need season pass xp anymore but it's still pretty cool that it actually counts towards it as well and i'm pretty sure there is rarer things inside of the lucky blocks but we're just gonna have to uh, fight more bosses and figure out what kind of drops we can get from there what am i actually saying i do know what's in these lucky blocks i totally forgot so we have ourselves some exclusive pets in here and as well some lucky block arms so we have ourselves the chance horsey in normal on the screen and as well in gold form so there we go then we have the maneki neko so it's like a lucky charm cat in normal and gold and then we have the seven hydra dominus in normal and in gold as well on the screen so these are all pets you can get so of course three pets in total from these lucky blocks but that is not even everything i do not know the stats by the way i only know what the images look like of the pets but you know they still look pretty cool we can get them from the lucky blocks we do as well have four different arms in their normal and their golden forms as well or maybe shiny forms i don't really know what we should call them because they actually don't turn into gold they turn into like a different glow so we have ourselves the blue buff lucky arm which you see in their normal and their shiny form it just gets like a little bit of a white glow around the arm there was just the purple one in its normal and probably with the shiny glow i don't really know what's going on maybe it's just the same model but i have these two images so we're just gonna go with it uh and as well we have ourselves the pink arm in normal and the shiny and then we have the last one which is going to be like the yellow golden one in its normal and shiny form as well so we have ourselves three new pets and four new arms from the lucky blocks so that has covered the garden update where to get the seeds the new lucky blocks which are insane guys because we're getting ourselves new pets new arms from that as well and hopefully they're better we got the new pet of three refresh we've seen the new limited pets the only thing we've got to do guys is of course see how long these take to grow and the one million code so oh are they done already no are they, are they done oh it still says plant seed but wait okay wait, wait 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 these are still plant seed but these are harvestable what is the timer what is the timer so it seems that it takes around 10 minutes ish but of course i didn't check it after five but these ones are not done yet at the bottom so i think it's 10 minutes to grow a seed that is kind of interesting so we can see we can harvest the banana but for some reason i cannot harvest the apple maybe just the ui thing is bug but i'm just gonna go and harvest the banana okay we got a heart we got the banana okay so these are oh wait rotten banana wait they can they can fail as well 
Oh, no, no. Okay, so it's just because they're like a low tier, I guess. Okay, rotten apple, rotten banana harvested. Okay, so maybe it takes five minutes to grow these. So the apple gives a pet of your choice 20 XP. Okay, and then the banana gives us a 10% player speed. Oh, okay. So we're gonna eat one of these for five minutes. Now we're faster. Okay, we. I, I can notice that. I can notice that. Okay, that's interesting. So, like I said, next week we're gonna get some more seeds. But now we just got the basic one. So, common apple. We can feed any of the pets. So I'm gonna feed this stocking cat I have right here. It has 105 XP, level one. I need like so many levels. Like, how am I gonna get enough? feed from this. This is uh, a little bit interesting. I don't really know how this is going to play out, to be honest, and maybe some stuff in the future is going to get more, but with the way we had apples before, we had thousands of them, right? If you have to get it normally, like, there has to be some stuff done to the XP curve of the pets, 100%, because getting ourselves a level 99 pet is going to probably take you months of farming, because you can only farm, like, six things at the same time. Like, if it was an automatically farming and replenishing and just harvesting process, maybe it would be fine, but if you have to manually do it and you get, like, super low XP, it's definitely not worth it. I do like the new buff things, though, because, you know, I could get myself some player speed for 25 minutes right now, which is uh, not bad. Yeah, we need something better from this okay i set myself another timer for five minutes just to make sure that they are not done in five minutes but they're done in 10 minutes instead just to you know get that fact straight so what we're gonna do guys while waiting we're gonna quickly go ahead and go over the code so right now we have the code for the 1 million update because of course we got 1 million likes on the game so let's go ahead and put in the code 1 million and this should give us a butt ton of rewards i don't know what we're getting but people said we got some new stuff as well so we're gonna get ourselves 10 percent of all stats Three set boosts for 38, 48 hours. I took a screenshot because that was way too fast. So we get 10% on all our strengths. A three times stat boost for 48 hours. So three times. That's crazy. We got two banana and two apple seeds. So this code can straight away get you going with the new farming stuff. So let's just quickly go ahead and do it. There we go. Yeah, we can place the apple seeds right now. Okay, not bad. We just will get ourselves a three times stat boost. And of course, 10% to all our stats. So that's super cool. Now we're up to 534 SP strength, which is amazing. Ooh, okay. Some stuff is becoming to form as well on the farm. And we are around two minutes in. So maybe actually it is three minutes. So this is going to be quite interesting. So I'm just going to sit here and we're going to watch these bananas grow. Ooh, and they just grew, but my timer still says 40 seconds left on the five minutes. So it is actually now 10 minutes, but it's around like four and a half minutes for them to grow the full bananas, which is kind of interesting. I didn't expect it to be that fast, to be honest. Uh, but let's just say four and a half to five minutes is the final verdict of how long you need to wait to harvest your fruities. Of course, this is for the common ones. It could be that the epics and all the kind of stuff that is coming next week is, uh, like a lot longer. Because you can see these right here as well. We've got a harvest. It seems apples are a little bit faster as well. Because these banana is not done yet. This was like a four minute or like a three minute one. And these are like four and a half. So it's probably different for every fruit. So apples, I guess, three minutes. And then these are four and a half to five. Interesting. There we have it, guys. The first update of 2024 in the world of Arm Wrestling Simulator. And I think it was pretty good. It is something different. And I am proud of the devs of changing up the meta. Deleting the pet snacks is quite a bold move, I'll be honest. We'll have to see how this plans out. Definitely, in my opinion, they have to rework how the XP works on pets. Though we know how many snacks it takes to get a level 99 pet. And they're just so good that it feels really, really bad. That right now, of course, we have to probably spend weeks for only one padded max level well before you know we still with the grind but it wasn't too bad so of course guys if you have enjoyed this video i would highly appreciate a like down below guys subscribe if you're new go ahead and of course use yourself that new one million code and good luck grinding and hopefully we'll get ourselves some more cool lucky blocks and get ourselves those lucky block pets so i'll say guys take care love bye thanks so much for watching and of course as well take care guys